Good day, kids! Today, our lesson is all about noun determiners. We will talk about much and many, a little and a few. Are you ready? Okay, let's start! Let's review! What is a noun? A noun refers to the name of a person, place, thing, or event. Count nouns. Say count nouns. Very good. Count nouns are nouns that can be counted. Nouns under this type have singular and plural forms. Examples Balls How many balls do you see? Okay, let us count. One, two, three, Four. We have four balls. Next example. Crayons. How many crayons do you see? Let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. We have six crayons here, namely red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. These are examples of count nouns. Mass nouns. Say mass nouns. Very good. Mass nouns are nouns that cannot be counted. Examples Sand Can you count the sand? No, very good. Another example Coffee powder Can you count the coffee powder? No. Very good. These are examples of mass nouns. We cannot count them. Noun determiners show how much when they describe mass nouns and how many when they describe count nouns. They are also called noun markers because they are commonly placed before the nouns to modify in sentences. Mass nouns are always singular in number. Again, when we say mass nouns, we cannot count them. Singular means one. We use the determiners much and a little to measure the amount of such nouns. Remember, for mass nouns, we are going to use much and a little. Examples Salt Salt is a mass noun because we cannot count salt. So here, much salt. Salt, a little salt. Milk. Can you count the milk? No, very good. So, milk is a mass noun. 
much milk. Milk, a little milk. So on mass nouns, we are going to use much and a little. Look at the picture. What is on the fried egg? Yes, pepper. There is much pepper on the fried egg. Next, there is a little pepper on the fried egg. So pepper is a mass noun. That is why we use much or a little. How about this one? What is on the bread? Very good. Butter. There is much butter on the bread. Another picture. Oh, look. There is a little butter on the bread. So we cannot count butter. It is a mass noun. Uh, that's why we make use of much or a little. Remember, when the given is a mass noun or it cannot be counted, we are going to use much or a little. The determiner many and a few are used to describe plural count nouns. So when we say count nouns, we can count them, okay? When we say plural, it means more than one. So when the given is a plural count noun, we are going to use many and a few. Examples, balloons, many balloons. Another picture, so we have here one, two, three, three balloons. So we are going to use a few balloons. What can you see on the picture? Yes, they are rabbits. Rabbits is a plural count noun. So here we are going to use many. Many rabbits. Rabbits. Here we have one two two rabbits so we are going to use a few a few rabbits what can you see on the picture yes very good they are vegetables are you eating vegetables okay very good so you should eat vegetables in order for your body to be healthy and strong. So vegetables is a plural count noun. Here, we are going to use many, many vegetables. Another picture. So we have one, two, three, four. Four kinds of vegetables. So we are going to use a few, a few vegetables. Last example, children. 
Children is a plural count noun. So here we are going to use many. There are many children inside the room. Another picture. So how many children do you see here? Yes, we have one, two, three. Three children. So we are going to use a few. A few children. Remember, when the given is a count noun, or we can count them, we are going to use many or a few. Summary For mass nouns or nouns that cannot be counted, use the determiners much and a little. For count nouns or nouns that can be counted, use the determiners many and a few.